Hello there. This video will describe the subcuticular suture, which is basically a buried dermal continuous suture. For this, we start at one apex of the wound with a buried anchor stitch. So using the forceps, avert the skin edges to expose the dermis and take your first bite at the epidermal dermal junction. So describe the curve of the needle and pull the needle through and then do your surgical knots as we have described previously with the two rotations then one rotation and then one more rotation. Once that is done, we will cut off the free end of the suture as we do for other continuous sutures as well. So now you have your suture anchored and next we want to snake the suture from side to side taking bites again at the epidermal dermal junctions. So refeed your needle to the needle holder and take your first bite on the same side as your anchor stitch. Pull it through and now you want to go to the opposite side but you want to start at the point which is directly horizontal to the place where you exited on the first side. So describe the curve of the needle and pull it through making sure that you're not coming outside of the skin and remaining in the epidermal dermal junction. Also, another important point is that you do not start further down from where you exited on the first side, because if you do so, there will be gap in your closure. Now keep continuing these steps, snaking the suture from side to side and taking bites which are directly horizontal to the place you exit from the other side until you cover the entire length of the wound. Remember to stay at the level of the epidermal dermal junction throughout your suture. You should always pull the suture through to observe that the skin edges are coming together appropriately. So once you have covered the entire length of the wound with your suture and you want to complete your subcutaneous suture, you will take a bite from inside the wound edge and come out of the skin at the apex. And now you will tie the suture to itself using the same technique as we've done previously with your two rotations then one rotation and then one more rotation. Finally, you cut off the end remaining excess thread and there you have it, that's your subcuticular suture. This kind of suture allows for better wound healing and avoids railroad-like marks which can occur with a simple interrupted suture. So that's all. See you on the next video.